Since the dawn of time, man has feared the darkness, and nothing has personified that fear more than the bat. The Aboriginal tribes that once inhabited this barren land spoke of giant, unhallowed winged creatures that hunted their prey under the veil of night. Over the centuries, these creatures became an outback folktale, a forgotten nightmare of an ancient time. Until now. Done for the day. Looks like it, yeah. Well, it's a wrap for the surf, Doco. Yep. We'll just uh, pack all this stuff up, we'll get it edited, and we'll bring it to producers. Yeah, fingers crossed they like our work and fund the next one. Well, they better because we are broke, amigo. Broke, oh, I tell you. <laughs> yeah, I know. Where's Chris and Bianca? Yeah, I don't know. I think they're uh, they're down at the beach somewhere getting some more footage. And you know she's. Been through a tough time in the past. Yeah, I know. Yeah, we all have. Yeah, but I just think you guys have a lot in common. Oh, do you? And if you just open up to her a bit more... Who put you up to this? <laughs> just me, man. Oh, okay. Well, yes, sir. I'll look into it. When? I don't know. When you leave, because this is really weirding me out right now. You talk <laughs> my sister like this, so... Get out of here. Go get them, please. Okay. Let's get out of here. All right. All right. Chip chop.
You done well, Boris. These kids are perfect. Hey, Bianca. You and me, babe, what do you reckon? In your dreams, Chris. You'll have more luck in bed with the picture. Hey, Bianca, how's the bike? Well, she's purring like a kitten, Randy. How's your ride? Great. We should do a track day sometime. Yeah, I'm up for that. Hello, this is Jack. Jack, it's Regan Petrov. Treat the producer. Did you like our surfing docos? Yes. We really like your work. Are you interested in shooting bigger projects outside of surfing? We, uh... Yeah, if the money's right. Regent, do you mind if I place you on hold for a moment? Of course. Man, we should be open to bigger and better paying projects, right? Wrong. Not yet, man. Jack's right. You know... Surfing's our niche. We don't have the experience or the equipment to do that. Whatever. Sorry, Regent. Jack, did you receive a large box this morning? Yeah, it arrived just before you called. Good. It's from us. Open it. And who's the satellite phone? Oh. It's for you guys. You will need it where you are going. Thanks, but where are we going? The Air Peninsula. Hey, what's the camera for? Your camera is old, so we're giving you this new one. So, when do we leave? How's next week? Next week? That suits us fine. The payment will be transferred into your account. Boris will come by with your contract. Enjoy your trip. Boris, is the tracking device in her camera? And do you know who the victim is? There was no ID found, and we're finding it hard to identify them because... Because why? Because their face had been torn off. What? Can I see the patient? Outpost. This is Redback. We'll fly in to pick up tomorrow. Over. They're gonna be okay? Well, they're in a coma and badly dehydrated. Only time will tell. And where were they found? Just a man found them in the desert. Did you find anything with them? I was going to give it to the pilot when he arrives to give to the police. Oh, look, I can save you the trouble. I mean, I'm going to talk to the police when I get back to Port Lincoln anyway. I can hand it to one of them then if you'd like. Oh, would you? Thank you. That'd be lovely. One less thing for me to remember. Well, um, thank you very much. Again. 
<laughs> Fucker. <coughs> Come on, Chris. What's your problem? I'm just mucking around, man. Walk away. Walk away. Hello? This is Boris. Where are you now? Uh, we're at the roadhouse. Look, there has been another sighting. Uh, another sighting? Just make sure you take the turn to nowhere else. Okay, nowhere else. And, uh, about the, uh, about the money. If you get this on camera. How does extra 50 grand sound? <laughs> that sounds great. All right, mate, I'll, uh, I'll speak to you soon. Cheers. That sounds great. Oh, that was uh, Boris, and he was just saying that there's a shortcut up the road here, and it should save us about three hours. So we better get moving. I'm holding hands with the devil. Sound. What sound? That flapping noise above the car. Maybe it's the wind. What a classic. Hey, Chris. <laughs> yeah. That's disgusting. Oh, what? This cute little fella? No. Your flies open. Wow. Seemed like a long nap. What time is it? Oh, damn, we've been sleeping for two hours. Shit, it's gonna be dark soon. We don't want to be out here that late. Hey, I don't know about you guys, but I'm starving. Yeah, my stomach thinks my throat's been cut. My stomach thinks my throat's been cut. Boris's shortcut's only just down the road, so there should be a town where we can find some food. I hope they have accommodation. Man, not a soul for miles. Surfies. Not a soul for miles, huh?
Hey, man. I think this is the turn coming up. Nowhere else? What kind of town is that? <laughs> hey, uh, Bianca, do you reckon I can borrow your camera to take some shots of the scenery? Sure. Cheers. Jesus, look at that thing on the old machine. Oh my god, I see it too. Jack, stop the car. Oh, what's wrong? Just reverse the car. Come on. Oh shit, it's gone. Man, what was that thing? You two are hallucinating from lack of food. No, Jack, I, I saw it too, man. It was freaky looking. We're gonna get bat out of hell. Well, whatever it was, it ain't there now. What? Population two? Two? What sort of town has a population of two? A very quiet town, I guess. Well, I hope they have food. This must be it. I hope so. Because I'm starving. The only thing I can think of right now is using the bathroom. Anyone home? Only one way to find out. Oh, Jack, 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 what are you doing? Hey, you're not. What is this place? Surely no place for bed and breakfast. Oh, it looks like an old slaughterhouse. God made this land in six days, and on the seventh day, he threw stones at it. This old machine. This is an old wool press. We're in a bloody shearing shed. So where's the accommodation and food? It's over here. Okay, let's go. What 
a dump. Who would live out here? <clears throat> that would be me. Um, name Simpson. What can I do for you? Simpson. We're looking to stay the night. And eat some grub. Wow. This is your lucky day, then, isn't it? All my rooms are vacant for tonight. Sonny, I wouldn't go eating the grubs around here. Oh, my God. Uh, what's with the shotgun? What? Old Bertha here. I use her mainly for getting tucker, you know, dinner. And for any mongrel that may come out here thinking he can steal something. Hey, we don't want any trouble. We're just looking for a place to stay tonight. Well, I'm glad to hear that. Because it's empty. See? Nothing down the pipe. <laughs> now, you can have anything you want on the menu, as long as it's rabbit. Come on, Butch. Well, you heard the man. It's rabbit stew tonight. Let's go. Carlotta, keep your woolly butt close to the farmhouse, you hear? Oh, shit. Give me that. Simpson, can I use your bathroom, please? It's out the back, sweet one. Thank you. <laughs> I saw you, knucklehead. Good job, Jagoff. I was just mucking around. No light. What a surprise. I figured I'd fall out from the homestead. So glad you did. Please don't mention this to anyone, okay? No problem. No problem, of course. I don't want to cross any trouble. Look, you ain't coming back here anytime soon. With that headache he's waking up with, no way. Hey, let's get you back, okay? I know you're hungry. Come on. Okay.
the feeling as clouds are gathering I'll be on the range at the end of the day and you hear them rolling it's been a long time coming sweet smell of high rain not far away from the watch there here you go then bon appetit Joy. Yeah, I'm not eating that. Yeah, me either. Cool. Bad vision. again tomorrow. So, looks like you and me in room five and these guys in room four. What do you reckon? He's just playing. Room five's all yours. We'll take four. You're gonna need these, there's no lights outside. Simpson? Why is there an ax in the outhouse? Ah, oh, that. That's for emergencies only, dear. What kind of emergencies? Look, you're in the outback. There are a lot of dangerous critters, so just use the shitter in daylight and don't go wandering around at night. Why is that? Because I said so, that's why. Hey, Simpson, we saw a strange creature earlier today, but it disappeared before we can get to it. Any idea what that was? Yeah, have you seen anything like that around here? Sorry, my friends have wild imaginations. What they saw was probably a wedge tailed eagle. It's all right, don't worry about it. The nowhere else sign red population too. Is there a Mrs. Simpson? Simpson, how much do we owe you for the night? Don't worry about it. Just make sure you pay in the morning. We're now at the back of the homestead. Hey guys, look at these trailers. This place would be a great setting for a horror movie. Nah, this place looks like something out of Mad Max. This is us, boys.
Hey, I'll take you back to your place. Hey, uh, Bianca, do you want me to change that battery for you? Thanks, Chris. That's so nice of you. Yeah, no problem. That was strange. Hmm, what was? Chris, he didn't act jealous when you offered to walk me to the trailer. Hmm. No, he didn't. Well, I hope it stays that way. Okay. <laughs> this is me. <laughs> hey, try to get some sleep. In this place? I don't think so. Nah, Beat sleeping outside. I guess so. Hmm. Randy? Hmm. Would you mind coming in for a bit? It looks kind of creepy in here. Sure. Jack, I'm just going to head to the car to get the camera back. Cool, dude. animals out here. Since the real wolf freak freak, man. Dude, I just came out here to take a piss. A maniac nearly gutted me. I should have kicked his ass, man. Were you filming yourself taking a piss? Man, I came out here to change the batteries. Then why did you bring the camera? You know, now this place is starting to freak me out. We should split and try and make it to the next town. I think we should stay here tonight. What? What are you talking about, man? You said Simpson just tried to kill you. Why in the hell would you want to stay here? Simpson said that we shouldn't be outside, so I don't think we should be driving around at night. Look, as much as this place freaks me out, I think Chris is right. It may be too dangerous at night. We'll leave at first light.
you believe it, Butch? Not only have they done the dine and dash, but that bastard has stolen me book. We still haven't seen the main road. We must have taken another wrong turn. Chris, where the fuck are we now? We're in a tight schedule, man. Man, these dirt roads just aren't on the map. You're not even looking at the map. I think I drove into anything. Well, you obviously drove into something. I hope it wasn't a person. Person? Who the hell would be out here? <laughs> Holy shit. Well, what? So Simpson's sheep ran into you? Look, the grill's untouched. I don't understand, Jack. If the SUV didn't hit the sheep, how did it splatter on the car? Yeah, so sheep can fly now? Look, like I said, the sheep hit, not from the front, but from above. Ah, oh, Jack, you're right, but how the hell did it fall from the sky? How the fuck should I know? Well, let's not waste any more time, man. Let's get the fuck out of here. Get back in the car. You ain't going anywhere. We're out of gas, man. So what do we do now, Jack? Chris! Chris! Get that satellite phone and call Regent. Shit, it's not in the car. What? Well, where is it? I don't know. I must have left it in the trailer in the rush. You fucking idiots! Hey, 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 hey! Come on, come on, hey! It's not his fault. It's not his fault, okay? Oh, whatever. Look, all we can do now is chill in the car until tomorrow. And hope to God we get some help. Hey, guys! There looks to be a building in the distance. We better move fast. Looks like a storm's brewing. Okay, let's get the gear up. Huh? Move on there. That church. It must be over a hundred years old. Yeah, look at the grass around it. Yeah, the church must be possessed. That's why the grass is dead. All right, let's find the door to this place. Sounds like that storm's getting closer. Man, this place looks so wicked. More like haunted. Come on, guys, give me a break. You know I scare easy. Who will be the brave soul that enters past? Did you enjoy last night, asshole? Come here. 
Bianca Allen thinks is the time or the place. You can never be too careful. Place is big, guys. No pews for us to pray. You don't need pews to pray. I pray to no one. <laughs> SUV to seek refuge in this deserted old church for tonight. What is that? Is that blood? Sorry. I'm sorry. I just came over here to see what you're doing. I was uh, trying to get some footage of the church, but it's not very clear. I guess I'll do it in the morning. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Come uh, on, it's been a long day. Let's go turn in. Yeah, I'm beat. Okay. Jerk. Hey guys, I think I know what that thing was that we saw yesterday. Yeah, it looked like someone in a black cape. Like Simpson last night. Oh, fuck me. You guys are too much. No, seriously, I, I think we may have been lucky enough to see a cryptid bat. A cryptid what? It's a bat. It says it stands about four foot tall, has human features, and has been known to attack both humans and animals. What? I've got to see this. Hey, where'd you get that book? I bet he stole it from Simpson. He's not gonna miss it. You better hope not, for your sake. Just listen up. It says here that an oleotau, also known as the Death Bat or Night Flyer, is a gigantic humanoid cryptid bat or flying reptile hypothesized to exist in Central Africa. An oleotau is said to have a six to 12 foot wingspan and their body is allegedly black, though their wings have been described as either dark brown or red. Their lower jaws are said to contain two-inch serrated teeth with equal spacing between each tooth. This is giving me the creeps. Yeah, that's gotta be what we saw yesterday. I know it sounds far-fetched, but I really think so too. What you all saw was a wedge-tailed eagle. Jack, you didn't see it, man. I know what wedge-tailed eagles look like. They're not four feet tall and they don't have pitch black skin. It says that it's been seen all around the world. No one has ever photographed one. I, I just think that we should stay here and try and get it on camera. I'm not walking around this place trying to film some big fucking bird. This is a great opportunity. I said no. Whatever. I'm tired. Don't forget to finish blowing Randy before you crash. What'd you say? Hey, 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 hey! Calm down, Randy. Chris, apologize. Fuck that man. Listen no, up! Do it! I'll break your fucking oh. neck! You're not gonna break his neck, okay? It's been a long day, alright? We're all tired, we're on edge, we haven't eaten. Let's get some sleep, alright? Things will look better tomorrow. Whatever. Come on.
Chris was watching us in the trailer last night. And that's why he made that nasty comment. Yeah. Randy. Back at the trailer. I didn't get to finish what I wanted to tell you. Okay. Years ago, I was in love with this guy. One night. We were walking back to our villa. Two drunk men approached us. And they wanted to cause trouble. My boyfriend got scared. And he did not try to defend us and ran. Leaving me alone.
just so beautiful out here in the middle of nowhere. What's that smell? I'm back inside the church, and the guys, they're all sleeping. Chris. Who would have done this? What happened to your face? What? There's blood all over it. Brandon, did you kill him? And rip his face off? Are you kidding me right now? You tell me, how did you get blood on your face? I don't, I don't know! Jack, you know he wouldn't do something like this. He said he wanted to break Chris's neck. Jack, look at his face. It's missing. The only person who could have done it is you with that damn knife. I had no reason to kill Chris, and if I did, there'll be blood on the knife! Hey, hey! Calm down, the both of you, all right? That's it. Guys, I know what happened. I saw Randy slap a mosquito on his face while he was sleeping. His hand must have been resting in the blood. Hey, guys. Check this out. There's no other way in. When? I went outside to film while you were all sleeping, but I was only out there for a few minutes. Someone must have entered while I went outside. Okay, well, then who did this? I don't know. What about Simpson? He swung an ice at Chris. No, Simpson, that was an accident. Yeah, well, this was no accident. Man, his face is missing. I should have heard him scream or something. Yeah. It's getting late. All we can do now is keep the lanterns going. Get some rest and wait for sunrise. Find help. I said we'd take three shifts. Two hours each. I'll go first.
much, man. A car door. Maybe, maybe they found the SUV. I'm gonna check it out. Wait, 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 wait. You're not going out there without me, man. You're gonna stay here and protect Bianca. I'll be right back. I promise. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on, take this. Be careful. I'll be fine. Jack finds help. Yeah, me too. There's something definitely in here. Simpson, why are you doing this to us? There's a shadow. Where? Where? It went past the window. I can't see it. 
Where the fuck is Jack?
Shark Boss. Yo. What you got there? Modern civilization goes to the cryptid bed. Another drink? Other cultures call it a night flyer, a night demon. They call it the death bed. Well, whatever it's called, that's one creepy critter. Is that gonna be the star of the next film? This I am counting on. Filthy, what are you doing? We're stringing up ruse to bait that bat, just like you told us. This is great. Now just make sure you get a good shot of it. I got rubate strung up all over the place and my rifles at the ready. Rifle? You moron! When I say shoot the bat, I mean with a film and a camera, not with a bullet. If you kill this damn thing, what good will it be to us? Sorry, boss. So now you want me to buy a camera? Gosh, Cleo! Just make sure you get rid of those baits. Then get the hell out of there. Sure thing, boss. Giant bat, what a crock. Bastard. Gas, it's me. How many roofs have you strung up? It wasn't them. Who else? I saw it. I saw it in the church. You saw what? I don't know. It was a, it was a, it was a giant bat. This is crazy. How could something like that exist? I don't know.
Regent, it's Zoe. I've got it and you're not gonna believe what's on it. Okay.
I was just about to get the upper hand on the bastard. I'm sure you were. Thought you'd be dead. Yeah, well, I almost was. It's damn bad to have me trapped in that chimney for hours. Luckily, I, I snuck out at dawn. Yeah, well, lucky for you, I came along when I did. Would have had you at sunset. Yeah, maybe. Look, you, uh, seen Bianca? No. No, I haven't seen her since she left the cabin. I don't suppose you saw her. No. But, um, but I, I found this in the old graveyard. Oh, shit. Yeah, it's hers. Look, she could still be alive. The chances of that son, her being alive, are slim enough. You don't know that. You didn't find her. Look! Look at this. Just look at this. This is a constant reminder. 24 hours a day from that bastard's claw. Now those bats, they killed your friends. But 20 years ago, they killed and defaced my wife. I told you assholes not to go wandering around at night. Ever since my wife died, I've been living out here like a hermit. The only thing I want is to find out where that bat's place of refuge is. I'm sorry. Didn't listen. Yeah, you didn't. Simpson. Uh, what? Take a look at this. Okay, last I saw Chris's face was just here, okay? And now it's... It's Colin. Oh, shit. See, there's several of them and a queen. Now, the male, the male bats, they rip off the face of anything that they kill. They present it to their queen as some kind of trophy. What? Well, it's not as sick as it sounds. I mean, bowerbirds, they give gifts to their females all the time. Yeah, yeah, but not faces. So... This old cabin was a uh, place of refuge, eh? Yeah. Yes, it was, and we walked right into it. Yes, you did. And because of that, they've relocated. Now, the question is, where? I don't care. Because I'm not leaving here until I find Bianca. Good. Because I'm not leaving until I kill all those bastards from hell. Now, you just get your ass into gear, son. Because we're leaving. Souvenir. Coming from the wall 
sweating through your veins Eating you inside out You eventually go insane With nowhere else to run to It will bring you to your death I take from you most everything Even your last breath 